Some new moves from former MSNBC host Keith Olbermann. Apparently, he is moving into the digital game, launching a podcast. Um, let's go ahead and throw Wall Street Journal had the report here. They say Keith Olbermann tries his hand at oh. podcasting. Countdown with Keith Olbermann on iHeartMedia to include mix of political and sports commentary. I guess he owns that name because that was the name of right. his yeah, that's right. show on MSNBC. I, he, he probably licensed it to them. Back in the day, whatever. Anyway, yeah. that's the name he's going with. It's kind of funny reading um, his justification for this. First of all, he says he has so much money, he doesn't need to work anymore. Oh, good. It's, it's just all for the people. Must be there. nice. It's yeah. just all, all for the cause. Right. Um, and he says that what's going to distinguish him is he says people do these podcasts with the idea they have to live for a week. This has replaced radio into a large part television. Why not present something that is there every day for people? My goal is that you'll be able to listen to this thing and get everything that happened. It won't be here we are reacting to last week's news. As if there aren't already like a million podcasts that do daily content mm -hmm. reacting to the most recent news. So um, I thought it was interesting. It's always fun to watch people who have an inflated view of their following and relevance uh, jump into what is actually more of sort of a free market competition right. in the podcast world and see how it works out for them. Yeah, they also, apparently Katie Couric has a podcast. I mean, this is the thing. These major TV personalities who have had everything done for them their entire lives, this is a hard job. It's actually way more on you as a personality. You don't get to rely on your producers who make up guest segments for you. You and I program every single element of our show. Every single one. All the monologues are written by us. I can yeah. assure you that's not the case over at any of the major cable networks. I mean, almost every element of production and more is like deeply personal to the both of us who've come up with systems. These people are so reliant on others. And also, it's I just hate the way that he denigrates the space of like interviewing one another and the material felt outdated. It's like, what does that mean? As if you're talking about the most relevant stuff and you're not interviewing each other constantly on your idiot GQ show, <laughs> like back in 2017? Yeah, because Cable is well known for, yeah, for, um, for surfacing of the diversity of views <laughs> and making sure that they're not talking about outdated material. The number one topic on cable news right now is January 6, 2021. Okay, so that's my point. I mean, I don't see how this could be differentiated whatsoever. And I love how they always point to stuff like The Daily. Guess what? You're not The Daily. The yeah. Daily is actually a good show. I don't listen to it, but I mean, I know a lot of people who do. If you're a normal person, you're upper middle class, you're walking to work in New York City, The Daily is a great way to, quote, feel informed. Same with NPR. They do a great, up first and all that, they do a good job. Yeah. 20 minutes or so. I don't so, see you know, uh, BBC World News yeah, that I listen they to. They do like the yeah. five minute thing or whatever, wrap up because they're on a different time zone. This is not a real service that anybody wants. And so, you know, I wish him the best, I guess. Also, if he really has enough money, watch. I bet you will be reading ads on his very first show because he's doing it with iHeartRadio. So True. it's like. True. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so. Olbermann at MSNBC, he really was the. Uh, the person who made MSNBC into a liberal channel. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't like Fox News had this ideological project yes. from the beginning, from the jump. MSNBC, it wasn't that. It was, they just wanted to be a sort of generalized news competitor to CNN. And then when Olbermann's show hits, and he's relentlessly going after George W. Bush and going after the Iraq War, it met the moment. And why he was so successful is, first of all, I mean, I do think that he's a, like, putting his cringe views aside. He's a skilled broadcaster. He's got a big personality. He's also a total asshole, like relentless asshole to the people that work mm -hmm. for him and just kind of a horrible human being That's in that a way. Sign to people. But, I cannot believe that. I know, I know. But he he does have this sort of like, you know, big charismatic personality. He was saying something that people couldn't get anywhere mm -hmm. else. And that's the piece that made him such a success there. And then MSNBC goes on to basically replicate his show. Rachel Maddow comes out of, you know, being a guest on his show. Then she spins off Chris Hayes, who was a regular guest on her show, and they sort of end up going in this um, liberal direction. Uh, but that wasn't the plan to begin with. Now, his views are so commonplace. Mm -hmm. They're... 
if you want to hear, you know, resistance live view of the world, there you, you can go to cable news. You can go to the Pod Safe Bros. There's, Absolutely. There's a that, lot that's of product. True. There's even an established space that is already successful in podcasting. In resistance live world. So, I mean, you already have a variety of products. It's hard to see what your competitive edge here and his theory of the case that there aren't any or aren't enough daily podcasts. I just don't. I just don't see that really to be um, to be accurate. So yeah, we'll see how it pans out. Yeah. yeah, let's see. More for y'all later. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.